Now, once you understand how you can get the backend data using the API endpoints, let me show you how you can get the individual data of the post using the API endpoint. You can see when you access this popular API endpoint, it's going to return all the data of the document. Instead, what I want, I want only one object from this array of object. To do that, inside this API, I'm going to create a new folder for this post data. Let me show you how you can get all the post and also the individual post using this API endpoint. So inside this folder right here, I'm going to create a new folder and name it post. And inside this post, I'm going to create a new file and name that file post.js. Now, just for that, inside this post.js, I'm going to first import data from the data file. Just for that, I'm going to say here export default function and I'm going to name this function handler with request and response parameter. Just for that, here I'm going to say constant in the object post is equal to data and then I'm going to say if we have post then I'm going to return response dot status and this is going to be the 200 status with the JSON data. So we pass post with the status. Just out of that, if we have error and we don't have any data inside this post variable, I'm going to just simply return a response dot status with 404 message. And then I'm going to say here dot JSON. And inside this, I'm going to return error object with data not found message, something like this. Now you can see, I'm just going to access this post from this data. Oops, I think I misspelled S here, it's post. So I'm just going to destructure the post from this object. Now let me first save the changes and show you the result. So if I just back to the post, forward slash post, when I press enter, oops, I think I misspelled here, it's post. Save this, you can see, I'm going to have all my posts as a response. But now what I want, I only want the individual post as a response. So for example, if I add here for a slash one, then I only want this first object as a response from this endpoint. So what we need to do is we need to create a dynamic API route. So when we pass here one, we need to get this one from this route and filter this object. So inside this post right here, I'm going to create a new file. And I'm going to name this file postid.js. Now keep in mind, when you create this file, you have to pass this file name inside square bracket. So you pass your file name postid. That's upon you, you can specify any name to this file. And then I'm going to specify here .js. Now this postid is what we call a slug. Or you can say a variable. You can specify value to this variable when you call a route. We already learned this in the next JS course. So I'm going to just create this file and just out of that inside this file, let me first get this import statement like this and then I'm going to say export default and I'm going to say function, pass your handler function with request and response parameter. Now what I want to do is when the user specify one inside this URL, I only want the first ID data. If the user specify here two, then I want the data of the second ID. And if the user specifies here three, I want the data of the third ID and so on. So to do that, we need to first get the data from the user. So to get the data from the user, you have a request dot query object. And using that object, you can get the data from the URL. So you need to say here request dot query. And from this request dot query, you can destructure your data value. So here you can say constant in the object, you can specify here post id so this request dot query is going to return that data inside this post id variable now you can see the file name and this the structure property is actually same this is because when you create a file inside this array that is going to create a new variable and we can get that variable using a query object and inside this object you have the value of the dynamic route data so three is the value of this post id variable now let's suppose that you change this file name to 
suggestid.js then this request.query is going to return an object id you don't have to specify this post id here i hope you understand how you can use this post id inside this function just for that we need all the data so we first say here constant in the object i'm going to say post is equal to data inside this data as you know we have all the post and then here we say if we have this post id so if the user specify post id in the url let's suppose that the user specify one as a post id then this if statement is going to execute and then i'm going to execute the post find method so i'm going to say here post dot find and what we need to do is we need to find the object with the id one so inside this find i'm going to say value inside this value variable we have the object so the find method iterate over an array of object and then inside this value we have an object and then here i can say value dot id is equal to post id i'm going to just access this id from this value you can see in the database we have this id property i'm just going to access that id if it is equal to this post id then i'm going to return that object so let me just grab that object inside a variable so i'm going to say here constant post is equal to so i'm going to grab that object inside this post and here i can say return response dot status 200 dot json and inside this json i'm going to return this post and if we don't have this post id i'm just going to return response dot status 404 dot json and inside this object i'm going to say error and in the double quote i'm going to say post not found now what you have to do is you have to head on to api post and specify your post id let's suppose one so we first save the changes back to the project and here instead of this post forward slash three i'm going to say here api forward slash post one now this statement going to return the first object when i press enter it's going to return the first object if i specify here post 2 then this is going to return the second object and you can do the same with all the objects of your array now what i want when i specify here only post when i press enter here i want all my post as a response you can see this folder is going to return this 404 error message this is because this post folder is not going to return anything so what i want to do is i want to return this post data as a response so when you head on to the api post i want all this post data as a response to do that instead of post.js you rename this file and specify file name index.js now this is the default file inside this api endpoint so now if i save the changes back to the project and if i head on to the api post then you can see i'm going to have all my post data as a response so the index.js is the default file for this post endpoint and if you specify here forward slash one then this is going to return only one object from the array of object so you have your first post as a response so you can easily filter your post using this id now you can do the same thing with this popular and this trending post as well that's upon you